recording. General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, and Cheerios, the oat cereal ready to eat, presents The Lone Ranger.
Lefty Scarsdale and his gang were in the mountains east of Lawrenceville. Lefty and an outlaw called Speed were apart from the others. They were concealed by underbrush as they watched the sheriff's posse leave town. <laughs> right north. Just the way we wanted. <laughs> and they're carrying blankets, Lefty. <laughs> I reckon they plan to be gone for some time. I figured Sheriff White and the Lawrenceville men had moved if they thought they were helping Marshal Tom Bell. Oh, that sheriff's going to be hopping mad when he learns the message was a fake. <laughs> Here, we'll join the rest of the boys and get ready. We'll attack in about an hour. By that time, the posse will be too far north to hear the gun. On several occasions, Marshal Tom Bell had been given valuable aid by the Lone Ranger. He and the masked man were good friends and were enjoying a rare opportunity for a visit in a small camp south of Lawrenceville. Tano reached the camp about one hour after leaving the town. Oh, sure. Open oh, up. He's just gone. He's just gone. Kimosari, Marshal Dell. You were gone a long time, Tano. Your saddlebags are bulging. You seem to have got the supplies we needed. There's something wrong, Kimosari. What is it, Tano? Well, find me in town. Sheriff, get telegram from Greenville saying Tom Bell. What? It say Scarsdale gang rob bank. One more crime against the Scarsdale gang. I didn't know those crooks were in the Greenville area. And I didn't send the message. He tried to tell Sheriff, but him not listen. All men join posse. And them ride north. Them hope to meet crooks. Traveling south. Why should anyone use my name to send a fake message? Maybe if someone knew a message of that kind would take everyone away from Lawrenceville. And leave the town unprotected. It sounds like a trick that lefty Scarsdale might try. They better saddle our horses. Here's Silver. Otto, how long ago did the sheriff and his men leave Lawrenceville? About an hour. If Scarsdale plans to raid the town, he may have already done so. The sooner we get there, the better. While the Lone Ranger and Tom Bell were saddling their horses, the Scarsdale gang rode into town with guns blazing. The only men left in the community were those who, because of age or infirmity, had been unable to ride with the sheriff's posse. They put up feeble resistance, which was quickly crushed. The terror-stricken women and children hid inside their homes. <laughs> the looting was quickly accomplished. Within minutes, the outlaws were gone, taking with them all the cash that could be stolen without loss of time. After leaving the ravaged community, Scarsdale and his men rode east into the mountains over trails they knew. Presently, the leader signaled the horse. Boys, this is where we part company. It'll be sometime tomorrow, maybe next day, before the sheriff finds out what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to be a mighty surprised hombre. I'm mighty mad. You think he'll be able to follow any tracks? I doubt it. But even if he does, he'll have trouble. Split up, boys, and take different trails. Go by a roundabout route to that shack on the other side of the mountains where we hold up last winter. Okay. We'll meet there. Oh, but before you go... Hand over the cash. Well, uh, Lefty, you mean you're going to take it all? Yeah, speed is fair enough with me. We'll be responsible for it. Well, how about splitting it up now? Don't you trust us, Dusty? Well, sure, but we've earned our share. And you'll get it. But not till I'm ready to hand it over. Well, I only want what's a coming to me, Lefty. Hand it over. Well, if the law should catch up to you in speed, or if you had an accident... So you want what's coming to you, huh, Dusty? Yeah? Well, here it is. Oh. Anyone else want to argue? Uh, not me. You got all the cash speed? Yeah. But the rest of you get going. And wait for us at the hideout. Get yeah. 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 In Lawrenceville, the people were still dazed and stunned by the attack when Tom Bell arrived with his two companions. Everyone knew and trusted the marshal, so no questions were asked about the man who wore a mask. The Lone Ranger and Tonto gave attention to the wounded, while Tom Barrow, seeking information, questioned many people. He rejoined his friends as the last bandage was being tied. I'll be through in just a minute. Oh, Tom, did you learn anything? Enough to be sure the raid was made by Scarsdale and his gang. Oh, which way did they go? Well, hardly anyone saw them. Bullets were flying thick and fast. So nearly everyone ducked for cover and stayed away from doors and windows. Someone must have seen them. Well, one woman peeked out a window. She said she thought they headed west. And that must Another be... woman thought they headed east. So take your choice. There you are, old-timer. Your eye will be as good as new in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Well, thanks anyhow. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Tom, if we knew which way the crooks went, we might be able to pick up their trail. We were coming from the south. We'd have seen them. They'd go in that direction. Sheriff, Ossie, north of town. Yes, and Scott. 
Charles Dale knew it, he'd hardly go north. Then the crooks must have gone either east or west. Before we do anything else, we should get word to Sheriff Jim White. Bring him and the other men back in their wild goose chase. Tom, you're the one who can convince the sheriff that the telegram was a fake. I guess you're right. I'll go after him. Well, while you're gone, Toto and I'll try to find tracks for the outlaws. Toto, you search the mountains east of here, and I'll go in the opposite direction. Uh-huh. If you find fresh tracks, signal with smoke, and I'll do the same. We'll see you later, Tom. You just need to come easy for that. Oh, oh, oh. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. of an amazing record. Recognize it? Notice how sharp and clear it is? But what's really amazing about this record of Take Me Out to the Ball Game is that I got it off the front of a special Wheaties box. There's an actual five-inch plastic record sealed on the front of every one of these special Wheaties boxes I'm talking about. All you have to do is cut them out. These records play on any 78 RPM manually controlled record player. And listen, Take Me Out to the Ball Game is just one of the tunes you can get. There's also Pony Boy, Blue Tail Fly, Polly Wally Doodle, and others. And each record plays up to 60 seconds. So go down to your grocer right now and pick up the special Wheaties record box. Remember, these records are absolutely free of extra cost. A real bargain in fun. the ground. 
ground closely in the fading light. Mm. Two men came here. In addition to the tracks of Speed and Lefty, the masked man saw a peculiar scuff mark made by Tato's foot. This time, let me know he was captured. Maybe that's where Lefty and Speed are. I don't know why they'd wait in camp. Hey, looks like a couple of... 
the men are sleeping in blankets near that fire. We'll find out. Get up there. Get up there. This program has come to you from Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network.